that. Five, four, uh -oh. three, two, one. Oh. If you like what you see, why don't you think about subscribing? And make sure to check out my channel for videos just like this. folks so i am finally doing it i am finally heading to wild adventures after seeing this park well seeing signs for this park every time i drive on i-75 which is like a monthly basis almost i'm here y'all look at it woo -woo. i'm here y'all this is so exciting let's go What's going on folks it's mr bucket list here and today we'll be checking out wild adventures in valdosta georgia Let's do it. Whether you're new to my channel or returning, first I just want to say welcome. In this video, I will show almost everything at this location. So all the rides and POVs. Here we go. The animals and shows. Nostrils. Again, the nostrils are on the top of the head. And lastly, just a walkthrough of the park where I try to show you everything. So from my perspective, you'll have the same perspective and you just kind of look around. So I hope it's really helpful. Um, I didn't know too much about this park before I went here. I just randomly saw it in Groupon. So it's not that big of a park and I doubt this video will get that many views. But anyway, I hope you all, I hope this prepares you all for if you do decide to make a trip up there. Also, I did recently just have four wisdom teeth pulled a couple of days ago, so I won't be talking too much in this voiceover. Um, unfortunately, I will have to with the parts where there was copyright music, but most of the videos um, voiceovers will come directly from my experience while I was there. So again, I hope you all enjoy it. There are going to be timestamps in the video if you want to jump around. Other than that, have a good time. Peace out. One thing I forgot to mention in the opening was I did walk through the water park as well. Now, I didn't ride anything, but I did give a full tour. So if you're curious about that, there will be timestamps in the description. See you soon. So yeah, this place definitely has like a homey feel to it. Limited kids too. Let's not forget that one. Actually, looks pretty good right there. And then this is the entrance. All right, here we are. Oh, look at that! They already got animals out. Jump into photos. So this is our first ride over here. A little kitty ride. Now again, if you all didn't know, I'm not one of the type of people to do every ride just to get the credit. Meaning I don't like doing kitty rides. Um, I'm not sure if you all saw my video on Sand Serpent at Bush Gardens, but it, I wouldn't say it went viral, but it's gotten close to like 300,000 views now because I got banged around. It was so unpleasant. So. That is the reason why I don't like those rides because I'm not a small person, so small people shouldn't be on kids, well, big people shouldn't be on kids' rides, in my opinion. But that's it, let's keep walking. I'm not 
sure what this is right here. Oh, wild mouse. Same type of ride I got banged around on. I guess I'll do it, y'all. Why not? I'm doing well, how you doing? Doing amazing, man. Doing amazing. Good. Yo, look at that. They are just waiting. That is nuts. Wow. Yeah, that's dope. That is dope. So again, I see these all the time in my neighborhood, so it's nothing too special. But seeing them grouped together waiting to eat. In like a bowl area like this, this is pretty cool. Theater Bridge. Yeah, I ain't going through the bridge. I'm good. If you want to, y'all, you can walk through this little bridge to step up these steps and walk through. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm good on that. And then as you can see, they got tiger and rise around here as well. Really cool. So now that we have left the alligator area, <laughs> these kids are so bored in that thing. Oh my god! <laughs> so this is one of <laughs> this is one of the kid areas. And over here you have something called the turtle twist. Now it's not actually going. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it's one of those rides. Yeah, those things kind of suck a lot. <laughs> I don't think I'm getting on that. So that's that. The turtle twist. And then right here, you also have your bathrooms and lockers. And then over here, there's a trail, okay. I'll come back to that as well. Yeah, this place is pretty, pretty chill. I like it. So we got another little kid ride right here. on a train ride so this is all the kitty area swamp water snake 
Oh, it's like a snake ride, okay. That's what it looks like. Popping gators. spot for if you want to pretend like you're on an airboat. Okay. Now we can go left or right. Let's go to the right. Here we have Alpha's Pizza. And then we also have a Ferris wheel. Now, like most Ferris wheels, this one's usually no less than two people, so I'll see what it says. No single riders, of course. I don't know why Ferris wheels do that. I guess it's a balance thing, whatever. That's the Ferris wheel. Trying to record stuff going, and it's like everything's just kind of chilling. This one you just lay down. Keep on walking. Now I'll tell you all right now, if that dang boomerang and the only other coaster they have is down, I am gonna flip. I mean, I came here to record the park, don't get me wrong, but the only two roller coasters you all have, like actual roller coasters and not that mouse. <laughs> Long story short, the, the, the best two rides here are down, I'm gonna be pissed, it's just that simple. Right here you actually have your map. I hate those rides so dang much. But I think I'm gonna get on it. Okay. So the boomerang is going. I see some kids on it. Cool. All right. And here is the famous boomerang, y'all. Let's get it.
off way to it. So, so IG, I made it to my first coaster of the day. Now look at this, y'all. This is amazing. Ten, nine, uh -oh. eight, seven, <laughs> six, look at that. five, four, uh -oh. three, two, one. Oh! That got me. Woo! That got me. And now we're going backwards. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. boomerang so the boomerang was actually pretty good i mean all boomerangs are essentially the same but for this park it's definitely a standout so not bad okay so as we keep on walking this is one of the huge lakes so apparently this is where they have the fireworks at not bad pretty nice So right here is the Tiger Terrace. Now I'm not sure where the Tiger is at, but this is it. And then you have your little viewing windows. So if you want to see the Tiger, I'm pretty sure they got it probably behind the scenes. But if you want to, you can do the Tiger right here.
Tiger Tales. Okay. So we got two shows. One at two and one at four. I'm definitely hitting the two o'clock one so I can get out of here. Um, but this is where you go for it. Tiger Tales. All right, it is time for Tiger Tales. And then right. So I did put the safari train ride towards the end of the video just because it's a long section. Um, so if you're curious about seeing that, you want to see it right now, click on these timestamps right here. Okay. So they have giraffe feeding for 30 bucks. I've already done that three times at Bush Garden, so I'm good. But I still do love giraffes. And then this is some of the animals. So we got some birds over here. And then, and then this is where the train just crossed by, so as you all can see. Feeding area is pretty big. Oh, look at that. And then there's another giraffe over here drinking some water. Wow, that thing is huge. Look at that, y'all. Oh, a lion. Okay. This is crazy. Oh, shoot, it's two of them, you know? It's a male and female lion. Kira and Tiki. The more of these fair type rides, I am still, I still think that ride is down, y'all, and I am gonna be so mad. There was only but so many roller coasters at this place, and for the, the biggest ride here to be down, unacceptable. Not cool. I'm definitely not doing those things. Maybe I will. Let me record some footage first. Pirate ship. Excuse me, Fer Pharaoh's Fury. One of the scariest rides of my childhood. 
I never actually did ride the one that went upside down. I couldn't do it, y'all. Like this one right here would nearly make me pass out. So I can only imagine. I can only imagine one that went upside down. A little homie over there texting and stuff. Oh, that's crazy. All right, so let's do it, y'all. Let's do it. And RIP to the one that closed down at Bush Gardens. So this is the observation deck in Botanical Gardens. But before I go there, I do want to ride this right here before it shuts down. This is Twisted Typhoon. Currently the biggest ride they have here outside of that boomerang. Um, so I'm definitely doing front row, getting the POV. We're getting it, y'all. Instagram, Facebook. I've been pretty quiet. This is the reason why. If I'm posting a lot, that means I'm not doing a lot. So I gotta twist the facts and here we go. That's the waterfall. That is dope. All right, here we go. Here we go. As we continue on, right here we have Typhoon Tacos.
and this must be the new area. It is Oasis Outpost. You can always tell by the color of the concrete. Oh, well, look at this. Fairy dolls. Yeah. Spider monkeys. Two of them. Paul Walton. So right here we have I'm not really sure. Oh, several. Two of them. And this right here is the Sandstorm Chaser. I missed the best part of it, of course. Oh, there it goes. This little umbrella is pretty amazing, y'all. Oh, <laughs> So they have some type of show over here, but I don't know what it is because it's not on the map. Uh, Wild Adventures Live. Hmm. It's a pretty big stadium though. It's pretty cool. It's kind of sucks that we're not going to be using it today, but whatever. And then over here as well, you have barbecue and smoked chicken, stuff like that. Not bad. We keep on going. This is one of the restaurants here. Saw earlier. <laughs> right, one of those swinging rides. 
That one's kind of small, so I might end up doing it. And then for that restaurant, they have some outdoor seating as well. This is called the Rattler. Kitty ride. Again, I'm not getting on that thing, but they're pretty cool. So being that this area had a lot of copyrighted music, I figured I'd go ahead and use this time to give you all just kind of my honest opinion about the park after the fact. Um, so again, I randomly found this park on Groupon every time, well, between Groupon and every time I would drive from like, anywhere from Florida to the north. Um, I'll always pass by this place, I'll always see signs for Wild Adventure, and on the sign they actually have a picture of um, the boomerang, and they also have a picture of um, Twisted Typhoon, the, the blue and green roller coaster. And so of course, seeing a sign, seeing a theme park, seeing decent looking roller coasters had my interest, and so um, that is the main reason why I went to this park. Now again, I literally went from Tampa, um, well actually, actually at the time I was in St. Petersburg, but I went from St. Petersburg all the way up to Georgia just to go to this theme park and then I went back home. Um, that's usually not normal for most people. I wouldn't recommend for people to travel that much of a distance to go to this theme park, especially if you live in a place like Florida where there's unlimited theme parks. For me it's different, of course you all know I love to travel, I love to go to almost any, any and every theme park and get my hands on, so that's the reason why I went. Is that saying the park is bad? Absolutely not. But this is not a park for coaster enthusiasts. It's only a couple of coasters, as you all have probably seen in this video. And so that's the only reason why I mentioned that. Um, with that said, I thoroughly enjoyed the park. It was just low key. I mean, the weather was hot, but it wasn't cloudy. It wasn't rainy. The weather was hot, but it was almost like perfect as far as like getting shots and video and stuff like that. So between that, um, the shows, the shows were honestly my least favorite part of it because they were so unimpressive. I mean, basically, just kind of bringing out animals to talk about them and stuff like that. I'm like, you might as well just leave them in their natural habitats or their cage. Wherever you all have them on display, just let us <laughs> look, at, look, look at them that way. Don't worry about bringing them out. But that's the only thing I would say. But then again, I mean, it was still cool how since the shows were so low key, they had almost like up close and personal, at least for the first Gators live show that you all will see. Um, the Tiger one, I, I think that was really disappointing. It was so many cages and so many bars. It was just like hard to see what was going on. Um, but actually, that was my only criticism. Outside of that, I mean, everything was great. Unfortunately, I did not eat when I was here. I just didn't have the time or the want. Um, I had like a huge breakfast before I got here, so I didn't eat. Um, but again, like I said, the, the low-key feel of it. It feels like an old-style Florida theme park. Like if you ever go to Legoland or, or um, Gator, Gatorland, things like that. That's what this feels like, but it's in basically South Georgia. And so it's really hard to explain, but again, long story short, I really enjoyed this park. So again, I hope you all enjoyed this video. There's a lot more to see. Here we go again. On a kitty ride this time. No loops, no nothing. Just a nice breeze. Let's miss the bucket list. Let's get it. Ooh, that water park is bad. Man. Alright, here we go, y'all.
how you do a kitty ride. Nothing to it, y'all. Mr. Bucket List. All right, let's check out the trail. So right here we got a sloth. Goats in the baskets, so you really can't see them. That kind of stuff. Let me pull out my cell phone for this one, y'all. So right here we have two different sets of sloths. There's one right there, and the other one is in that basket. Sleep. No surprise there. And then if we keep on going. Right here we have a lemur. There they go. Hello, lemur. It wants nothing to do with us. So there they are right there. There we go. Hey, buddy. For the lemur, we have Kutamundi. There it is. Uh, these gates make it so hard to get a good focus. There they go. And then here's Gators Live. So this is where it's at. One and three, okay. And then over here we have a fox. There they go. Oh, that is cute, y'all. Look at that. Wow. It's like a Pokemon. Oh. Carter waking up. Oh, that's so cool. No. Look at that little thing, y'all. It doesn't even look real. Alright, now they have a trail. Let's check it out. I need to learn how to use the focus on this thing. And then we have some calls and squirrels. I don't know how that squirrel randomly got in there. That's funny. McCall's. Keep on going. Hey, buddy. It's like you're talking about me. Keep on walking. So this reminds me of like old Florida. So if you all ever hear about exhibits in old Florida, basically stuff that was not Disney or Universal, stuff that's like low key, but it's still nice. That's how it looks like in old Florida. And this is what this reminds me of. So it's pretty cool. All right, here we have a red tailed hulk. And there it is right there. And then we have 
Oh man, look at that thing's tail. Wow. To the green monkeys. Hey monkey. This tail does its own thing. That's wild. Look at that monkey over there hanging out. What is hanging on the fence? What the world? Oh man, I wish y'all could see it better. It's like a monkey just hanging with his hand on the fence. That is funny. <laughs> this place is huge. Turtles. So they are all hiding in the shade because it's so hot. This place is huge. This is the black bear habitat. Snakes. There isn't. I don't know where the bear was at, but didn't see it. Okay, so right here we have the pond slider. Again, this is just really nuts that no one's back here. This is crazy. Look at that. Ew. Ugh. Look at that big old pig. That's crazy. Okay. Man, this is nuts. Got some diamond doves. How pretty. Thrive. That is pretty. This is nuts. Man. So this is wild, y'all. I mean, look at this. This is at a theme park. This is so strange. It like, feels like you're in the middle of like a jungle or like, I don't know how to explain it. It doesn't feel like a theme park. It feels like something that would be like a smaller park of Florida. It's wild, y'all.
I am leaving this area. Whoa. Just say something. Hello. 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 This guy is right at about three foot long. I can tell you, he is three years old. So if you guys see an alligator, I don't know, say five feet long. How old is it probably? Five. five. You got it. But they never stop growing. All right, it all starts. She builds her nest. She goes to water. She sits there and stares at If you take anything from the show with you today, please take that with you. Disrespect those sounds and give these guys their space. Now, here's our big guy. <laughs> this is Oscar. Everybody say hi, Oscar. Hi, Oscar. All right, so Oscar is a Burmese python. They're the third largest species of snake on the planet. He's a pretty big, silly human, so it's kind of hold him every day. All right, not only that, he can taste your pets on you. Household pets at home, cats. All these holes are on his upper lip. They're not nostrils. Again, the nostrils are on the top of the head. All these holes here. Head to the observation deck and botanical garden. Oh, well, so that is open. So just off the cuff review um, this park is nice it's nice and chill as you all can see it's got like a mixture of rides animals shows everything's nice and real laid back it's really cool I don't know what this is back here Let's check out the observation deck. So like you can have the picnic over here. They got a little grill over there as well. And then we'll see what's over here. Exactly what we're observing. Here is a Okay. So you got some water buffalo. This is nice and chill. I like this. For all my coaster enthusiasts, check this out. So you have this nice observation deck where you can sit and watch buffalo and things like that. And then they also have just a random section of the coaster. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I believe this is for Cheetah, the ride that used to be here at Wild Adventures before it shut down. I'm not sure, but I can kind of guess by the color scheme and for them just to have an extra cart around. It probably is that, but I'm not 100% sure. Again, this is, this is dope. Okay. Just a quick 
quick tour of the botanical garden and then we'll head to the water park and I'm not walking through that little garden pretty nice though So something cool they have is Geronimo. So that's the sky coast I just saw that went up. Um, now again, I've done the tallest one in the world in Kissimmee. Of course I have, I've missed a bucket list. But if you don't want to do that one, you can come here and do it for $20. Adventures Safari Train. During this journey, you'll come face to face with amazing animals from around the world. But before we embark, please remember to keep your hands, feet, and all your belongings in the train and remain seated at all times. As we move on, you may notice some humans on your left or right. Everybody wave to the humans. They may be moving a little slowly right now, but they do get more active around feeding times. Next on our journey is the aviary on your left, which houses some of our more colorful birds, including the scarlet ibis and flamingo. Both get their bright colors from pigments in the food they eat. The bright blue birds are Victoria ground pigeons. They have unique crests on their heads, bright red eyes, and are native to New Guinea. You may also see our Canada goose that has taken such a liking to the flamingo and he often stands on one leg. As we round the corner, look to your right and you'll meet Bariki and Bakari, our male giraffes. Bariki was born here at Wild Adventures in 2002. He's 16 and a half feet tall. And even though his neck is so long, he has the same number of bones in his neck as you do, seven. Bakari was born in 2017 and joined the Wild Adventures family back in May of 2020. Bakari and Bariki have become best friends and are inseparable throughout most of the day. You can get up close and personal with Bariki and Bakari by visiting the Giraffe Overlook after we pull back into the station. To your left is Wanyama Observation Deck and Botanical Garden. Wanyama is Swahili for beautiful animal, and that's just what you'll find in Wanyama. The first animals you probably notice are the white fallow deer. The males have large antlers, which they will lose and grow each year during mating season. The males like to show off to the females by dancing around and making a lot of noise. The small antelope you see are called black bucks. Black bucks are very fast and can run up to 50 miles per hour. Black bucks used to cover the entire subcontinent of India, except for the western coast. But their numbers are improving thanks to conservation efforts. The cattle-like animals with the large hump on their backs are called zebu. They are the oldest breed of cattle in the world, and their humps are used just like a camel's. It's a reservoir of fat that can be used for energy when food sources are scarce. The largest animals in Wanyama are Asian water buffalo. They can weigh up to 2,600 pounds and spend most of their time in the water. They have wide, hooved feet that help prevent them from getting stuck in the mud.
African savanna. On the left, you'll see a group of animals that live together, including a herd of Grant's zebra. No two zebras have the same pattern of stripes, and they're more closely related to donkeys than they are to horses. Also on your left are wildebeest. Wildebeest migrate up to 1,000 miles in herds that sometimes reach one and a half million. The migrations are so large, they can often be seen from outer space. The small brown gazelle on the right with the black stripe is a Thompson's gazelle, or Tommy for short. Tommies are the smallest of all gazelle species found in Africa and can run up to 50 miles per hour. The white and brown antelope with long horns are called scimitar horned oryx. Sadly, this species is completely extinct in the wild due to environmental changes in northern Africa. Oryx may be the inspiration for the myth of the unicorn. When you look at an oryx from the side, it appears to have a single long horn. Back on the left, you'll see our male and female ostriches. Ostriches have very small brains. In fact, their eyeballs are bigger than their brains. And contrary to popular belief, ostriches do not bury their heads in the sand. They simply lay low to the ground when they feel threatened. On your right are Gemsbach. They are easily recognizable thanks to their unique face markings and long horns. They are one of the largest species of antelope found in Africa and are native to arid southern regions of the continent, including the Kalahari Desert. This train ride is really good, everybody. This entire park, I'm really surprised. It's so relaxed and so chill. And it's like a zoo with roller coasters. A couple of roller coasters. To the right, you'll see our Wild Adventures Zoological Department. Our zookeepers work 365 days a year, including weekends, holidays, and every day in between to make sure all of our animals are well cared for. It's hard work, so if you see one of our zookeepers today, give them a wave and a big thank you. Good time, As we near the in the many different shows we have to offer that give you the chance to get up close and personal with even more amazing animals. View our show schedule. So now we are heading to the water park. Now this right here is Island Falls, like a log plume ride right there. And then to the left they also have like a um, rapid, river, river rapids ride. Excuse me. A river rapids ride. They're both closed, of course. <laughs> The only two water rides that's not within the water park are the ones that's closed. But it's all good. So I am heading to the water park. So you all around. Let's get it. Alright, so as you all can see right behind me we actually have Splash Island. This is the water park here to Wild Adventures. And y'all it is hot, trust me. Down. That thing is packed. Oh my god. I've never seen that many people in the water. That doesn't even look fun. Hmm. Alright, let's do this tour so I can get out of here. So, this is included with the standard ticket. I will not be riding slides and rides. I did not bring any type of cement trunks. Plus, there's just too many people here. So, just give me you all a quick walkthrough. 
to the left you have the essentials so you can buy lockers, souvenirs, stuff like that. On the ice. You got restrooms, snacks. So this is the entrance to the Lazy River, and this is why I'm not getting in. There are way too many people. That just looks me nasty. And no thank you. But it goes around there. We got a kids area right here. So yeah, these slides are actually pretty impressive for this type of park. So I guess I'll get you all some shots. It's uh, no, it's tight though. It is so tight. Oh my god, like I'm about to die. Now the last portion of this park will focus on this water park. Um, now again, I didn't have on clothes to go swimming or get on slides, so I didn't actually ride anything. And this portion did have a lot of um, just copyrighted music. There was actually a live DJ that was like playing music. And it was weird because when I was in like that wooded area, um, I kept hearing like a lot of bass. I'm like, where is that coming from? Like in a place like this, but it was coming from the water park. So it made sense like once I got there. Um, now again, this is more packed than the theme park because again, it was extremely hot outside So of course people flocked to the water park plus I believe it's about to close for the summer So that's probably another reason why um, But I would say this park even though it is um, low-key and it was busy It did actually have some really nice looking slides like, I didn't ride anything But just from my experience um, me on other at other water parks that I've actually ridden stuff on very similar slides and they looked um, really cool so if you do go to this park, um, definitely, if you're a water park person, definitely plan to visit the water park. I would honestly say probably go there first, get your water park stuff done, and then afterwards go to the theme park after you dry it off and stuff like that. thing about this place is they actually have seating right in front of the ride so you can watch your loved one your son child whatever you can watch them go down and have a good time this is really cool thanks for watching the video if you like what you saw please check out my channel for more videos just like this make sure to hit that subscribe button until then i'll see you next time peace